I, when you lost early in Abu Dhabi, then you joined the absolute that one year, uh, as you talked about. But traditionally, you won your tournament. You skipped the uh, the absolute yeah. tournaments a lot. And I remember talking to you about it, and you said that just in the mental game of getting up for a tournament and and that whole thing. You you want you were good for one. You didn't want to do two. Talk about your memories of that. Do you regret not doing the the absolutes? Um. I mean, now I do because I can't. I'm done fighting. Of course, I want to get back out there. But <laughs> I think, like, realistically, um, so I my game, like, I gr- it was a grind. I mean, not not a lot of them, at least at Abu Dhabi with the elite grab. And a lot of my matches ended by submission. But um, a lot of, like, most of my fights, like, like grappling matches at that level were not only going the distance, going into overtime, going into, you know, like grind, grind, grind. It was, man, I was, you know, I fought Salo. That was a 40 minute match. I fought uh, Hegan before that. That was a 20 minute match. So I fought, you know, before that, I think I had like a one overtime. So that was a 20 minute match. Like that's a lot. And then to, to think about going into overtime um, was tough. You know what I mean? Or, I mean, not overtime, but, but, like another whole tournament to get yourself up for um it was was pretty hard especially like uh yeah i was just like physically bad i mean i just i expended i expended a lot more energy than most of the other guys just because due to my style i think you know so. jeff i i think also you don't want to be on the receiving end of a marcelo garcia type highlight reel yeah you know what I mean? you're a heavyweight yeah. you know like you don't yeah yeah <laughs> 